Hello guys, hope you're doing well and as always if you are new to my channel I would request you to subscribe to my channel so that you shall be able to get all my latest engineering videos that will be helpful for your future studies. Thank you. Okay, the problem at our hand today is that we have uh, a crane over here and along crane there is basically a tow line which is being fixed at point A. Okay. And uh, this tow line is exerting a force of P is equals to 4 kN. This 4 kN at the end of the 20 meter long crane boom. This is the boom. He says if x equals to 25 meters, this x is 25 meters, calculate the position theta, this position theta of the boom so that it creates a maximum moment about this point O. Okay. So, what will be this moment? We can calculate this moment very easily. If you look at this uh, free body diagram of this picture, okay, this is actually the real uh, force P tow line and it is making an angle, uh, basically some sort of an angle over here. Okay, we have two situations. Either we directly take this uh, tow line uh, angle or we basically try to study what will be the respective orientation for the best possible uh, moment okay so now if you look at it if this force p is considered as along the y-axis okay like this so we know the angle between this boom and this force p will never be 90 it will be 60 or 70 anything but not 90 and we know sine of 90 is one to create uh, the maximum moment if but if it is less than 90 then the moment produced will not be maximum Okay, so by this assumption, we can calculate the maximum movement as F into D, F is 4 uh, kilonewton and D is 20 meters and the respective angle between force and the moment is 90 degrees. So we get the maximum movement is 80 kilonewton meter. Now the next step is to calculate what will be the theta at this maximum moment. Okay, so now for this calculation, we will go down a little bit and we will say that uh, this is our theta we say this is basically our theta okay and what we do from this point o to point a we draw hypotenuse okay here you can see we have drawn this a uh, hypotenuse h okay and we say that we also draw a straight line from o to the uh, point uh, where it meets at this point at the 4 kN this green line and we say the angle is 5 uh, 5 degrees we don't know what it is and from the hypotenuse to point A we draw another angle which is beta which is at some inclination and again from this hypotenuse to the horizontal blue line axis which is the x axis uh, over here x is 25 meters we draw another angle alpha okay now we want to start the solution we can uh, simply uh, do some trigonometric calculations over here we can say that this is our hypotenuse and if we move along the, the, the blue line which is x we say this is going to be 25 meters it is given and this vertical height of this triangle is 1.5 meter so vertical height is 1.5 meter horizontal height is x which is 25 meters we can calculate this alpha and we can also calculate the hypotenuse also so here if you look at it the hypotenuse square equals to 1.5 square the height and the horizontal length is 25 the whole square so we get our h equals to 25.044 meters okay this h is basically 25.044 meters and we can calculate alpha also tan of alpha is basically opposite upon adjacent this is opposite 1.5 meters and adjacent is 25 meters so it's a very small value we get alpha equals to 3.433 degrees this alpha is 3.433 degrees our next target will be what will be our beta okay and remember we have phi also make sure if we add alpha with beta we will get our phi very easily but till now we and if we get phi we can also we know this angle is 90 so we can get theta also so first target is to calculate beta okay so for this if you look at it is fpd you start from here to this line and then this line goes here and and ends here so this is nothing but a right angle triangle and this angle is beta and this length is 20 meters okay and we have already calculated hypotenuse so now we can calculate our beta very easily is sine beta equals to 20 
20 meters divided by the hypotenuse because what sign is what it is opposite upon hypotenuse taken opposite upon adjacent uh, so this is 20 and uh, uh, and this is our hypotenuse okay this is our hypotenuse so it is 20 this is 20 divided by the hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is what 25.044 meter we get our beta okay now we have got our beta now our next target is basically we know this beta is 56 uh, 53 degrees alpha was basically 3.433 degrees what we can do is phi will be equals to alpha plus beta how because see this alpha and this beta if you add together you can get your phi okay because again this slope and alpha plus beta when added will also be having the same slope so we can say phi equals to alpha plus beta so again 53 degrees plus 3.433 degrees will give you 56.433 degrees so once we have got our phi we know the angle between the boom and the two line the force is 90 and phi is basically 56.433 degrees so theta can easily be calculated as 90 minus phi so theta comes out to be equals to 33.6 degrees and that was actually being required as being said in the question that he is say, interested in calculating the theta okay so i hope uh, you have understood the concept of this problem and uh, i also hope that this solution will help you thank you very much and you have a wonderful day bye